Hello and welcome to the Bike Century. My name's Ben and today I'm going to be showing you around this Honda CBR1000RR and this is of course the iconic Fireblade. Now this is a 2004 54. Uh, this is the first year that they went to the underseat exhaust model so radical changes uh, in line with uh, MotoGP so this would look very familiar uh, looking back at Ross's RC, um, Valentina Ross's RCV back in the day. Um, very successful bike in terms of British Superbikes and World Superbikes as well um, and kind of really was the recipe for a very successful bike up until 2008 when they really revised it. One thing that's particularly special about this one is A how clean it is but B the low mileage, seven and a half thousand miles from new. You will not find another one in this condition with this mileage on it, I'm sure of it. It's absolutely beautiful. Um, so I'm going to walk you around it, show you some of the features. Um, of course, this is used bike, so we try and point out any little nicks and marks and stuff as we go. Um, so yeah, let's start at the front. <clears throat> so the bike's on Michelin Pilot Power 2CT tyres, which are a great dual compound tyre. They've got absolutely loads of life left in them. They look like they've barely been used. Obviously, you've got the three-spoke wheel and 310mm discs, and you've got powerful four-pot Takiko brakes. Uh, this particular bike has been upgraded to have braided lines as well. Um, which is a must uh, a must have on bikes like this, I have to say. Uh, upside down forks, which are in good condition. There's no pitting or rust on the fork legs at all. Standard paintwork, it's quite a rare color this, the, uh, the dual red black. So obviously you've got that satin red plastic, uh, blue, black plastic on the bottom, beg your pardon. Uh, and then the red uppers. Um, mostly been, uh, you know, I'm molested. It's got a, a nice motor graphics paint protector kit on it, as you can see on the front fairings and also on the back as well. I would say cosmetically this bike for its age is about seven out of 10. It's in really nice condition. There are a few little marks here and there. And um, you can see there's just a small mark here on the frame which has been touched in um, and a couple of other little marks here and there. But generally on this side, as you can see, you know, there's no damage at all. The bike hasn't been down the road. There's no scuffs or scrapes or anything like that. The bike's been fitted with a decent set of adjustable rear sets, as you can see. Um, it's got a carbon fiber heat shield. Uh, it's got a mock carbon fiber uh, mud guard, and you can see it's got RNG um, paddock stand lifters on the back there. And as I said, it's got Pilot Power 2CT tires on board. We've got an aftermarket seat cover. That is over the top of the original, so if you wanted to, you could remove that, but we think it looks okay, so we've left it. You've got the motor graphics kit on the, uh, the back end, as you can see. There's a couple of small marks here, potentially where someone's legs caught the, uh, the bike as they've lifted their leg over. Um, but to be honest, you really have to be looking to see that. Got a really nice uh, color-coded um, seat cowl there as well with the, um, the mesh grille, which looks really nice. And very subtly, uh, there is an Acropovic exhaust on it, which sounds absolutely fabulous, I have to say. <coughs> So coming around the front end, you can see we've got an aftermarket screen. So this is a dark screen. It's also got a set of anodized bolts. Again, it's in very nice condition. The headlights are not pitted or cracked or anything like that. Uh, it's been very well loved, this bike. As we come around this side, it's very much the same. You might find a few sort of little blemishes on the belly pan and stuff behind the wheel, which is common with any sports bike, but generally on the whole, in very, very nice condition. Having a hydraulic clutch on this bike, it's had an uprated uh, clutch slave cylinder. The standard clutches on these can be a little bit heavy. That just helps this. Um, we see this a lot on V-twins and stuff like that, but it's a nice modification to have. Again, you can see the adjustable rear sets and you've got a color coded chain. Now I don't normally like these, but I have to say, this looks very, very nice on this bike. Again, on this side, you can see the, uh, the seat cowl and uh, tucked away is the Acropovic underneath there as well. So on this year of bike was the first year that they actually came with an electronic steering dampener. So that's this great big device here. It's a great thing to have. This, these bikes, you know, they're a 998cc and they make about 180 horsepower. So they're not slow uh, and they're quite light on the front end. So this just helps to, uh, to keep everything in check. So there you can see the mileage, uh, 7,292 miles from new. Um, it's very basic in terms of the layout here. So obviously you've got your neutral light there, you've got your rev counter, your shift light, and then obviously you've got your speed, your oil pressure lights, that sort of stuff. Let's give her a start up for you.
nice. It's not obnoxious, um, but it just sounds like a little bit better than the, uh, the standard exhaust that would have come with the bike originally. And the bike does come with the uh, original um, rider's peg, so if you want to refit those, you can, but the rear sets are adjustable, so uh, it just gives you, as a rider, a little bit more wiggle room if you're slightly taller or slightly shorter. Um, this particular bike will come with a three month warranty. It will come with a, a, a service before it goes out as well. Um, our bikes all come with a minimum of three months MOT and they come with free UK delivery as well. We offer finance and part exchange. If those are things that you're interested in or you've got any general questions about the bike, please feel free to reach out. We've got WhatsApp, we've got all the Facebooks, we've got a uh, live chat on our website and Auto Trader, or of course you can pick up the phone, speak to us, come into the dealership for a chat. That's it for me. Thank you very much for watching and I look forward to speaking to you soon. Take care.